everyone. Welcome back to another edition of Azure Every Day. Today, we're going to talk about the Azure Virtual WAN. This is a newer service that Microsoft announced. It's currently in preview. Um, and essentially, it's a networking service optimized for branch to Azure connectivity. It offers the capability to use partner devices currently supplied by preferred partners, right now, Riverbed and Cisco, but the list is growing, or the ability to manually configure this connectivity with your environment. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, okay, Azure already has this service, it's called a site-to-site -site VPN, right? But there are some big differentiators here that you should really consider, okay? The automated setup and configuration of these devices from preferred partners make it, makes it a lot easier to configure these devices, right? So you set up these connections, uh, you can export it directly from the device into Azure, it sets it up for you automatically, and off you're going. The other thing that's big about this is that it's designed for larger scalability and more throughput. So um, the site-to-site -site VPN service is great for those smaller workloads, but this really opens up the pipe and, and lets the, the, the data crank through much faster. Uh, the way it's designed is, is a hub and spoke model with a, the hub, of course, being Azure and the spoke being your branch office. Uh, and all of this is managed within Azure, right? There are, um, there are four main components of, of this service, which is the, the virtual WAN service itself, right? Uh, and this is the asset where the resources are collected uh, and they represent a, it represents a virtual overlay of the, NAZ, the Azure network, right? So it's sort of like a top-down view of the connectivity between all the components and Azure and your offices and all that stuff, right? Uh, you've got a site which represents the on-premises VPN device and its settings, right? So we talked about those preferred devices from Riverbed and Cisco and more to come. Uh, you know, and if you're using a supported device, you can easily uh, drop that configuration off uh, into Azure and uh, away you go. You have the hub itself, which is the connection point in Azure for those sites, right? So uh, the, the site connects to the hub um, and the virtual WAN is overlooking all of these components, right? Uh, and then the last piece is the hub virtual network connection, okay? And that allows you a connection point for your hub to your virtual network. So you've got your site, you've got your hub, and then you've got your virtual network. So you've, your hub and your virtual network are connected through that virtual network connection. And this allows the communication between your virtual networks in Azure and your site-to-site -site, um, uh, virtual WAN, right? So it's a, it's a pretty neat offering. It, it uh, makes things a little different in the landscape of how, how people are doing connectivity into Azure and connecting their remote offices and, uh, you know, sort of consolidating what that uh, network looks like and making it easier to do by offering these preferred devices. So uh, it's definitely worth checking out. Still in preview, so we'll, we'll see some changes as we go along, but it's pretty neat to talk about. So, um, if you have any questions about this, networking, uh, Azure, any of these technologies we talk about, love to chat. Uh, send us a, a request at the link below. Give us a call, and we're here. Uh, otherwise, have a great day, and I uh, appreciate your time and listening.